Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're back as General Jamrock, and we're going to be playing none other than the Risk Meta Settings, everybody's favorite, the tried and true Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Now, of course, they come with blizzards, they come with fog, and blizzards make this map very unique every time we play it. Now, wow, here we go. So we've already got a blizzard in Benghazi and Istanbul, and it makes the entire Orient a one-point guard from South Russia if you cap in South Russia. That is a great start for uh, for blizzards. Other than that, though, not much to write home about. Uh, not meaningful blizzard here, not a meaningful blizzard here, and that's not the most meaningful blizzard as well. So I'm the orange player. I'm in the fifth position. I could cap in my nice little corner of Greece, which Greece normally isn't a little corner, but it is today. Uh, obviously, I don't want to cap there. It's only got two ways out. Uh, Gascony's looking pretty good, but we'll see what yellow does. Yellow may cap behind me. He may cap in Burgundy. Yellow may cap in here. Uh, I wouldn't hate Gascony because it's cut off in Africa. The It would end up being a two point where I could go maybe Spain into Africa and then hold Italy and Gascony as a two point on this whole section. Now, I have played a game like that recently. And uh, I mean, it is what it is. If I get that position again, then I get that position again. If I don't cap here, let, like, let's just look for a second. Yellow capped here. Pink, black, and purple, we don't know. Pink, black, and purple, we don't know. There's a chance somebody's here. White goes next. We're going to go Gascony. I, there's just a real chance somebody's in Andalusia, right? Last time I played these settings and I did Gascony, Andalusia was empty. And it was a massive benefit for me because I got to do the full reach around. But uh, today, not quite. We'll see. I, I have a feeling someone's in Andalusia. I just have that feeling. I mean, if White was thinking about it, now he's much less likely to do it if White has that territory. So, like, if White or Yellow has this territory, I'm pretty safe here. But uh, we'll see. I would not be surprised to see a South Russia cap or a Georgia cap. Okay, so White's in Kharkiv. Okay. But we got six for his turn. Where is he starting? I hope he doesn't head down here and hit a bunch of this. I hope he doesn't come through here. Not if, Okay. He's in the middle. Okay. Sees yellow's five cap immediately. And he's like, okay. Probably he needs to adjust course and go a different direction. Yep. Splits off and backs off. Doesn't take a bonus. Now we know where purple's cap is. That's good. It's really good. The only downside is that Trieste does connect to Venice. So if I do end up coming up and holding Italy at some point, Venice is the two point with Gascony. Trieste would be open to uh, slam in me or setting up card blocks on me later. We'll see. Black is rolling where? Please don't be in here. Unless you're very weak and you take so much damage. He's going to, he's right here. You know, he's here. You know, that was, he went boom, boom. He's rolling this boom. Of course. Oh, it's not him. It's not him. He's somewhere else. He's rolling in here, maybe? <clears throat> Wherever it is, I'm happy. I'm very pleased. I'm going to take France first and work on Spain next. France is basically guaranteed, and I may get to hold it. And then, uh, yeah, we work on Spain secondary. Funny enough, nobody's even taken Noob Corner or Scandi. What's going on? Yellow's in the middle. Does he take this? He's coming up. Yeah, he comes down. And then six on two. Okay, yeah. That's fine. So, white is probably not here. Where's pink? Pink could be capped here. Uh, he could be South Russia or Georgia. Or he's in Andalusia. Black is fist bumping. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, baby town. He's in Oslo. Let's go. Okay. Five on two? Ew. Oh, great dice is great dice. Okay. So, white, pink, yellow, black. Or, sorry. Not... Nah. Yeah, yeah, white, pink, yellow, black. We just don't know where purple is. Or, sorry, yellow, purple. We don't know where black is. White, pink, yellow, purple. Black rolled a bunch, but it wasn't in here. So black, I think, could be in here. Or he rolled up through the back of this, and we just didn't see. Or he tried to clean this up. If black may be even down here doing some stupid stuff. We'll see. Uh, we're going to do this for now. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Terrible dice. I was gonna leave twos, but I... Phew. First roll was losing three on that two stack. 
horrendous start to the game for me, but uh, try the uh, fist bump with the zombies. White's going to take this, which is good because he'll butt heads with pink a little bit. I wanted to leave like a two here, but there was no way because I had to five on one on one. So I actually had to go fully. White adds down here too. Interesting play. Where's White's capital if he's doing this and this? If he brings this through and fortifies in, up, down. Goes this way. Okay, so he's going for this. And he rolled this, so his cap's not here. And if he's doing this, I don't think his cap's here. I think Spain is open to me. I don't know how big the stacks are in Spain, though. I almost would kind of like somebody to clean it out first so I can kill all their ones. I mean, I would make an enemy, obviously. So purple has no bonus. He should have taken this bonus, unless somebody's blocking it. Maybe there was a big stack in here he didn't want to roll. He probably cleans this bonus now. It seems like... Yeah, right, white's cap is over here. Doi? Yeah. And now we have black's cap. So we actually have all the caps, right? White, black, yellow, purple, and then pink. Everybody's cap is in the middle here. Everything behind my capital is open. Wait, everything behind White's capital is open too. If White ends up holding a bonus or two and then Raw Dogs orient through, like Russia into Orient, he will have a really strong position. I'm surprised he's not playing for that if he has vision in here. Maybe he doesn't know where all the caps are and stuff like that. Black's doing the two guards. Interesting. He's hitting Italy. He's going to go for the Italy bonus. Okay. Okay. I hope he takes some damage on that. I want to see how much damage I take coming through. I might actually come off this two and not off my seven. Okay. White holds this, I think, or he's thinking about this. Yeah, he backs off completely, leaves a two. Black's playing quite like me. Interesting. Uh, for those of you that don't know the meta settings, it's your advanced progressive capitals. We have no alliances, no portals, but we have fog and blizzards on. And it's a Balance Blitz Progressive Capital Conquest. Purple says, thanks. Yellow added to here to take something. Is he going to go to the right or does he take this out? I kind of want to do this reach around. Hmm. Because I can do this reach around and then fortify again. Just taking a card. He has no bonus? He's No, he does have a bonus. Yellow took Scandi. No, no, sorry. Yellow. Doi. We're getting there. I, I know what it is. I just, I'm, I'm talking too fast. Yellow has Southeastern Europe. Purple has Daenerys Alps, probably now. Black has Central Europe into Italy. Uh, pink is Scandinavia. He should be starting with eight or nine troops. Five. He got broken in Scandinavia. Interesting. Wonder if he ever goes for this. I could think about going for, Brit uh, going for British Empire, but then I'd probably get busted up by these guys. My plan is going to be Spain. Spain makes the most sense for me. It's it's the one I, I need to work on the things behind me where there's no capitals, right? Why expand towards capitals when I can expand to an area that's not got capitals in it? Then I get into any fight with somebody down here and I, I, I should be okay. Okay. I hope these are all ones. Okay, it's a two. Okay, good enough dice can get me all the way. Can I get a good roll on this? Perfect dice. Uh, five on two. I'm going to take it. Oh, man, I get it, but it is what it is. It was a little painful. All right. I should have... So, I, I think I should have uh, perfect slidered the 100% here and then brought the five into my cap. I really wanted to bring this two off of Black's Italy, though. I also one would ideally like to add troops around here so people don't hit me. Black's going to get so many troops, he could actually basically end my game, but he doesn't see my position. And he's playing for bonuses right now. Our opponents are General Schweinsteiger from Germany. Uh, he's getting nine a turn right now. Uh, we've got Mephisto from uh, Ninja Star Sideways Stripe Land. General the Gruff from the United States. Maxi Aoma, Aomama from the uh, United Kingdom. And uh, Fonson from Sweden. Cool. White still only has a six cap here after two turns. What do I even start with? Eight. Okay. Mephisto gets 15. He starts buffing up all his borders. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame him. I'm going to try to clean out this bottom pocket and then be friends with black. I wonder if I can get away with that. I also do need to buff my capital big time. Like, I guess I would want to come off this one and do this kind of a sweep. 
Okay, his guardian is going to take a card somewhere else. Out here, maybe? I don't Yeah, okay. I need to add some troops and maybe take a, a card up here. Or not necessarily take a card, but like make sure I have a troops in a position up here so I can take cards after. I Because theoretically, my next goal should be to clean out this pocket, right? I have Western Europe and Southwestern Europe, but I should clean out West Africa and knock out whoever's in North Africa. And then I can have this border with black and be friends. And then if black and I are friends with borders, I take cards out here and don't hit them any further, right? Yellow's adding troops down here, which I don't like. He starts with nine a turn, but he keeps a stack. And I'm going to clean this. I will knock this out. I hope he hits the uh, white one, if anything. Not me. Just one less territory for me to hit. And now he leaves the four. Okay. I have to... I think my goal is I don't stack on Jigel. I kind of go off Mascara and go ping, ping, ping. Ping, ping, ping. I can do a straight shot. With everything. Don't spl uh, yeah. Don't roll that, please. Nice! I get a lot right now. Yep. Make this just a two. Now, how far do I go in the bottom with this, right? Because I do need to buff my cap. Black has a big, big capital there. I think I'm, I'm going to start rolling this and see where we get to. Oh, bad dice. I need good dice on the four, please. Not good. I'm going to hit this, and then I will back to my cap. And then I don't hit white. If I had great dice, I would have knocked white out. And now I've got a trade on three if I need it. White is behind me, but I think we're going to maintain a friendship here. He's holding North Africa. With the split. Somebody may knock him out of the other side. White may get killed in the late game and be trapped back here without people knowing about it, which would be great. He doesn't even add here to threaten me. Now, white may have a big stack here. So if I put seven here to clean this, he may have a big stack back here to be like, no. Like, joke's on you, right? There might be like a five behind here or an eight or something. I don't think so. But there could be. There could be something here just in case, right? It's a nice little sneaky, sneaky play. Could have got better dice there. It would have been nice, right? Lost three and a four, one and a two, one and a one. Nah. We're still getting nine a turn. White's getting nine a turn. Pink's going to get a good chunk. Black's getting 14. So he lost some territories, right? He was 15 last turn. Yeah. So he actually lost some uh, something there. Now I want to maintain a position out here. I find I've, lately, I, yeah, I've been playing a lot out of this bottom left side, right? Southwestern side. Hopefully I don't get ramdangled by black. Yep, he's just going to take a card and chill. He's playing very smart and cautious with his, like, he's building a lead. But he's also in the middle of the board. So if he picks fights with people, he does take a risk. I get a lot of troops if I hold this, though. Like, if pink stops and doesn't ramdangle me, I get a lot of troops. I'm really hopeful that doesn't hit my three. I did knock yellow out of here, so he might actually... Try to knock me out of here. Yeah, what a dick. <laughs> if he finds this one, actually, I'm a little hurting for cards. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, man, pink might hit that if he comes out of uh, Sevastopol. I get a lot of troops. I could make a decent size stack out of there. I don't want to get card block behind black and be forced to hit black or pink. That would be a problem. Who would I put it into? Like, I'd have to fight one of them, right? Pink's getting 11. White's fist bumping with pink about what? Down here? Like, do I trade with white or do I clean white? Like, what do I do? I have so many troops I'm about to get. I don't want to clean uh, pink out of... So I have... Situation. I don't want to hit white in Russia. If he has Russia, I don't think he does. I don't want to knock pink out of here. That's a lot of troops. Just uh, do this and make a two. This a two. I need to make this bigger. I need to make this big, though. I need my cap bigger. I think that's reasonable. 
Thing is, yellow is here, so if I hit that purple one, yellow sees me. I'm hoping he doesn't find that threat there. I just, I, if I hit the purple one, yellow sees me. If white holds Russia and I hit that, he adds here and ram dingles me. He gets seven, okay. So he actually got broken. White actually doesn't have this plus three. Somebody destroyed him down here. Now he suicides out. I think he's suiciding out. No. I let him sit here and, he, and now he breaks me. Interesting. That's actually interesting to me. I didn't think that was going to happen. Because I could have super popped that, right? Very easy. Purple card skip. Looks like he's going to take a card with a four. Cool. Like, I, now I owe white nothing, right? I only hit Svastopol hoping like, okay, I'm not going to anger white. He breaks me anyways. <clears throat> okay. I lose a bunch of troops off that. That's fine. That's kind of why you generally like cleaning the pocket behind you. There's there's risks to leaving somebody there and there's risks to not, right? I, I could have easily hit that three and then came back to cap, right? Make the 10 here. And then instead of putting the rest here, I just clean this out. Don't don't even knock pink out of Svastopol and clean this out with everything and then full, full fortified at the cap. Black has a massive cap with a 43 in the middle. It's pointed at purple and me and only there. Oh, nobody's card skipping. So I'm going to want to be heavy on my cap this turn. I might actually lose this 10 to white after I clean him out of this pocket. Yellow's rolling what? He's rolling a bunch. Of, I don't think he goes. If he goes for Eastern Europe, I might taste it with my 10. White says traitor now. Good. <clears throat> Maybe yellow's in here too. I don't know what's going on in Orient, right? I would actually love to go down and see. So maybe I actually add to this 10 and come in and tuck in in Krasnodar and sit and let's see if people go around me and stuff, right? So I would go boom, boom and sit and then see if people do the reach around around me. I also definitely clean this out of white. Pink early trades. He gets 13 troops and he early trades. Please tell me you're not a bot. No, he's not. And he's not pointing at me. So he's getting 13. Did somebody... Nobody's lost a cap yet. I need, I actually should be watching this number. That would be smart. <clears throat> so I get 16 now instead. Okay. This is what you get, White. Alright, we'll do this. So White is open to going back there if he wants. Straight to cap with that. Black is chilling in the middle. Nobody's messing with them. I do get a really big trade coming up. I wonder if white trades early. <clears throat> it will suck for me if I lose this exterior position. White is pretty close to killable. I'm going to get the 12 trade on my turn. Because he did an early trade. Does he actually hit my 10? No. He just comes back and, and chills. White is very, very weak now, right? Yeah. That may even be all he's got. He invested into bad spots, right? He had Iceland. He, he had this split bonus here. Like, White's entire game plan was terrible. He had a good cap, should have went all in for Russia early, and he would have been able to take the Orient and then been able to hold that very easily. But his entire game plan was, I'm going to hold this split plus three North Africa, and I'm going to snipe Iceland behind the people in, in Noob Corner, right? Like, obviously, if Pink's capped here, he's going to take the whole... Like, you should focus on taking bonuses around your capital if you can't. Right, I'm expanding down here because there's no caps down here and it, my cap is close. Black's rolling somewhere in the middle, which is good. I like this 10 position, although yellow sees it now. The downside here is yellow does see my 10 if yellow wants to uh, continue with whatever trajectory he was on with knocking me out of down here. Which puts me in a spot where I have to take a card on black and then his 43 is going to come into me, right? So the, the best scenario for me would actually be taking a card on this too. And then stacking my capital. Or I turn on pink, but I don't think I'm going to turn on pink. Pink has other directions to go. Black can... If I, I can deal with black here. And this is the two point, right? There's no cap in here to fight. Pink's got a cap. There's no point fighting pink up here by his cap. Or fighting black here. You can fight black in here. <laughs> Oh, he's going to knock me out all the way to Sebastopol? Yeah. 
Yellow's a dick, man. What's pink get? 14? Do I sneak my way into Orient and see what's going on? I do get a trade. My plus two is... I mean, I go Marseille, I guess. Or throw it in I'll buy it. Okay, that's pink. Yep, now he sees white's cap here, which was rather low. Leaves a two. Interesting. White may do some big ram dangling with this cat with this trade, right? Like if we can't kill white here, which I don't know for certain that that would kill white, whatever I'm looking at doing. And white may go running for this pocket. I actually don't know how to uh, hold this position and avoid losing it to white. Well, let's see. Do this. Make like, I don't know, make a couple tens or something. I need to make sure my cap is very strong. Let's do this. I'm not letting yellow hold this if this is a bonus he's trying for. I am going looking here because I want to... Uh... Oh, white's there. Okay. Oh, never mind. I back up. I mean, white has a pathway to that yellow 31. I don't know why there's a yellow 31 here, but uh, okay. I have no trade. White gets his 15. Does he ram dingle me or does he... What's he... Takes the card and passes? Uh, goes right into yellow's bonus. I think my nine tastes it. No, it doesn't. Good. He might come through black, pur through purple and black into me. No, he just breaks. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm actually. Oh my god, he's so free. Okay, I kill white this turn if somebody else doesn't. Somebody's going to kill him, right? Purple gets twenty. Uh, still started with nine, so he actually didn't break purple. He just ran around in yellow here. Opened yellow's cap. Yellow almost certainly kills white here. Or okay. Purple gets it. Yeah. What? Huh. No? Is he cleaning me out? I hope he doesn't get my five. Leader has three capitals. I have not been paying attention. What is this? Purple started with nine. Did he take a cap? White started with five. Still had his cap. Yellow started with what? Nine. He still had his cap. Who's got all the capitals? It must be that purple took white's cap, right? White, purple, black, me. The only person that could have three would be purple, right? Or pink has three? Did yellow lose his cap? No. If he goes heavy on the 58, it might hit me. But it might also be able to come out this way. Because he still starts with his 15. So he's still got his two bonuses. His Italy and Central Europe. That does hit me. No, it doesn't. Okay, he's going through purple. He wants to go looking. Purple really screwed me up on the white kill. I might actually have the white kill if yellow doesn't clean these. Like, I'm going to hit these three ones. That might be all white has. White is a bot. Yeah, I, that was my guess. White has quit, so he must have lost. Two! Black hit a purple capital. He's on an 18 now. Okay, he's going to trade on three. He's going to come out. He's going to kill white. Did he start with three? He started with three. That's all he has. He's going to kill white. He's going to be on four cards. He's going to be on four cards in this corner. I don't have a stack that can get to him. How far does he come out? How weak does he get? I don't have a trade. Fuck. Oh my god. He's going to hit that. <laughs> Wow. Yellow has... If yellow has no trade on... I need to get over there somehow. Purple's got two caps. Black just took one of them. Which one was it? Wow. How far up is yellow going? Does he actually hit a cap? Yellow is so weak, dude. If I had to trade on three, I'd have the yellow kill for sure. I have to go through black to get over there.
Do I take Italy and chill? I could take Italy and chill in uh, uh, Venice. Pink's rolling at the top from his 14. Takes the card, chills. Okay. Black's about to trade. That's the downside of me, like, uh, going into Italy, right? So I'm going to do the sand face. I think purple's going to ram dingle black, right? Just do this. What are the trades? 30? Just do this. Just do the sad face thing. I also want a 24 point and out. Do I have a trade on four? Hate this game, dude. <clears throat> if white has, if yellow has no trade on four and he's still alive, if he's alive with five cards, I will go through and find him. Purple's going to kill him. He's fist bumping purple, but you just took a cap off him. Okay, 18. Yep. And I try a fist bump too. I need card trades, right? But I, I think black understands. I could have come out completely and I maybe you, you can make an argument that I should have. Yeah, he's just going to four on one take. That's good. And I left a two here just in case he wanted to four on one, three on one. Tell me to trade here instead. Goes back to this cap. So yellow's going to trade now. Starts with six. Doesn't have Orient? How does he not have Orient? And doesn't have a trade. Oh my god, yellow doesn't have a trade. <clears throat> Fucking, I have no trade on... How weak is he? I have to kill yellow. How do I get him? How do I get through all this? Yellow's up here and he's so weak. How does he only have six? Somebody must have hit him. I have to get all the way around to back here. If I kill yellow into a double trade, we're basically going to win the game off that. I would kill yellow into a double trade into maybe kill black. Into another trade. Into an end game where I own the whole board. And I, I have all information. He's going to kill yellow and trade. No, he doesn't. I have to try. I have to try. I don't know if I have enough. Yellow had like a 50, but how much stuff did he hit? I cannot believe I had no trade here, dude. Oh, he's got a 40 cap. Okay. It's a pink cap of a 10? Interesting. I'm opening everybody. Hmm. Go to my cap or what? I have vision now. Now I have a trade. White's gonna, your yellow's gonna trade, but uh. <clears throat> Black might even hit me now. Black has a hundred troops here, right? What do I have, 108? But I'm about to trade for a lot. Yellow's gonna trade for 50 here. He's gonna have a big stack. My cap should be safe. I should be able to survive here. I'm hoping somebody takes this easy cap. Black might hit me now. I broke him twice, but I had no choice. I needed cards. Okay, he's going this way. He's going to try to kill yellow? A fail kill on yellow would be excellent. No, he's going to clean me out of the rest. It's a big mistake if you're cleaning me out. Okay. No, it, like if you're cleaning me out of the rest of the board, I have to break you to get cards. He comes all the way down. I'm going to fist bump. Oh, he kills... Purple's dead? Right, he had purple's cap. Pink had that... I should have known purple was dead. Purple started with what? Three. I wasn't paying attention. I could have killed purple into yellow. That was a massive miss on me. Yeah, just say well played. He's going to go hard into pink. Can he kill pink? Wow. 
I almost certainly could have killed Purple there. I didn't even think Purple was weak. He was the one that had three caps. He went into pink, though, without killing pink. And he took a cap. He's got this cap, right? So he's doing some weird split. Yellow's got 100. Oh, man. Come on. Fist bump. He's going to hit my six immediately. Yeah, it doesn't give a shit. Fuck you. Oh, man. I could have... I don't know. We don't know for sure. Purple could have had a like a, a a thirty or a forty stack we didn't see, but I actually I think there's a I think there's a really high chance that Purple had like almost nothing and he was free. I think I think that's the case. Can I trade kill pink trade if black actually took like okay red has a cap black has three I have one pink has a cap right so if pink comes out and I see it like if he comes out with his full cap and I see it and it's low enough maybe I can kill him. I get a lot of troops on my turn. I don't think he'll open my 65, though. If he did, that'd be even easier. Like, comes around? Starts with 13. Nobody has a... Like, they're all on three cards. If I could trade, kill one, trade, be Ram Dingle time. See here? Down? Come to the left? And show me how big your cap is. No, he's coming through the top. Damn. Or he's coming through the top. <clears throat> Six. Okay, yeah, he came through. Oh, um, if only he opened me. <laughs> okay, so they're starting to fight. I'm going to trade. Uh, I can't deal with yellow. Can't kill yellow. Yeah, uh, pink and black fighting is good. So Marseille, I guess I'll go here. Nah, I guess it doesn't matter. That's uh, that's in here, isn't it? What's oh, here? Doi. My 65 probably doesn't get open. So I'm not actually going to go looking on the board right now. I'll leave it as a 20. My cap is huge. If my cap gets open, I have a chance to strike. I didn't want to leave this as a 50 and have somebody hit it. If it's a 20 and they hit it, it so be it. You know what I mean? Shoot up a fist bump and try. He's got a trade on three. He's going to ram dingle. I'm hoping it's not me. I mean, he is fighting other people. There, and I, as much as I'm like hitting him a little bit, I like I haven't done it vindictively to him. I had to go through him. I had to get a card. And now I just took Italy while there's a fight happening rather than joining the fight. I mean, I'm not overly vindictive. I was fighting yellow and white over here, not black. He was fighting purple. I mean, now he's fighting pink. He may still hit me. But if his beef is with uh, with uh, with pink, I don't think he wants to open up his second beef. Yeah, looks like he's going straight into pink. Okay, <clears throat> does probably end up opening pink's cap. Every time he takes Central Europe, he's opening pink's cap because it's Oslo, right? I don't think we saw it, but I, we saw his stack on turn one attack off of Oslo, so that's how we know pink's caps here. Yeah, yellow gets 12. Yellow has 100 troops. Yellow has 100 troops, 50 were over here, and like 50 on his cat. Or like 50 and 40 or something, and he's just got 11. If I can get a trade on 4, and then yellow has no trade on 4? I can't believe I, I, I missed the purple into yellow kill. That was my bad. I misread the fog, right? I was focused on the wrong things. Pink trades on 3 also, and he's probably going to ram dingle black. If he hits this 50 cap, it might be his full stack. Oh, no, he's coming out again. He's going to come down, maybe. I can go looking. I don't really want to go looking. Which spot do I want to hit a blacks? Wait, I, I should be paying attention to this, too. Three out of six is black, right? Boom, boom, and boom. So, black, yeah. Didn't lose this. Pink's rolling out like completely. Just sent everything. Where's this fortify? <laughs> um. So let's go six here, and like a thirty-one here, and then cap. Uh, we'll do the sad face. Or 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 this one. Which one? I don't have a question mark.
I don't know which one to do. I'm trying to ask which one. Okay, there we go. I, I, obviously, I think Pink broke both, but I'm trying to signal him. I'm scared. I, I'm doing the little bit of a baby thing at the moment. Do I have, I have a trade on four? Okay. Like the little bit of a baby thing, like Black's focused on Pink. Yellow's just getting strong right now. So um, I'm trying not to get ramdingled by Black in this moment. If Black and Pink, Pink keep fighting and I have a 30 here and I can have all these bonuses and a trade and come off of it, Black and Pink may end up killing each other to the point where I can... Uh, chain it right yellow may get second if yellow has no trade also we know he has a hundred troops and maybe only 50 on a capital so if i get a hundred right now and i can make a 130 and if i get a good roll in the 50 on a cap i might be able to kill him starts with 13. so he has orient and territories i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to kill yellow unless there's a chance he rolled around here and put everything on cap because he has on five cards. There's a chance of that. And if he's if he's got 110 troops total and they're all on cap, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to him maybe opening my cap. But he's going to trade anyways, right? So once he trades, he's on almost 200 troops. And then uh, his kill is much less possible. Uh, Pink starts with 16, so still got his cap strong. Black didn't break all of his stuff. He's still got Noob Corner and Scandy, and, uh... Oh, man, don't tell me you're botting. If Pink bots, that's very unfortunate. Because that means the seven's now a problem. Which also means maybe I start... I have to hit the seven to take a card. And then leave a stack here that Pink can't get through. Also means it's going to come through here. If it's all bad, yeah, and I have to hit a 17 to get a card, or I let it open my capital, actually. All right, let's 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 just cross our fingers and hope that yellow has most of his troops off of capital. Huh. It's a 60. He has a hundred and some odd troops, though. Black has that one, yeah. The 36. Yeah, if I got a good roll, I could have maybe done it. Hmm. There's a chance yellow trades and opens my cap here. We were right. He had like 110, 120 troops max. But I guess he rolled. He must have lost some troops somewhere. Because this is, well, that's 96, 97, 8, 99. And then all of this. He's like just over 110. Maybe he's got a 3 in the corner. Like he's basically 110 to 120. We read it right. I was thinking a little bit more. Like maybe like a 45 and a 50. I, I, whatever way it was. a 60 cap, man. If that was like a 40 cap and this was a 56, I probably... If that was a 40 cap, I hit it, right? Because I feel confident I get it then. Orange is going to... Or pink's going to break me. It may break me and hit my and open my cap. But it might only open my cap to go into pink. Do I kill pink for two cards if it fully comes off? I don't know. Because this, this cap is probably going to roll into black. Because black's getting what? 10. Because he has this. Yeah, yeah. Yellow's going to what? Does he take a cap or does he follow right into me? I didn't hit him, but he might still want me. Yeah, he's only hitting me. I mean, I broke him here, so. And I was looking at killing him. Let's be honest, Yellow's been mad at me ever since I knocked his four out of my bonus down here. Okay, no slidering. I hope he goes right into the 235. Looks like it. Okay, hits my six. Does he go for pink? No, breaks it there. Okay. I should have hit his 36 then, I guess. Because then his, he would have spent his whole time retaking this rather than doing this. Does he run out of time to fortify? I wonder. 17 might very well open my 235. Nice split. 
You're so focused on getting this bonus, you have 87 troops off capital. That was everything, right? That was his everything. He just rolled, he just was rolling through everything, losing troops on, on everything, right? He started with a 119. So he still only has a 60 cap. Pink's gonna open me or what? I could kill yellow. The 60 cap, I need like 140 here. I mean, I have to go through a pink 19 to get it though. I could kill yellow, but I gotta go through a pink 19. Do this. I'm gonna put this here. So yellow only gets a certain amount of troops and maybe he uh, he doesn't, maybe he doesn't fully open Italy to the point where uh, I have a trade on three finally. Keep in mind yellow has a 60 cap and then this. We're gonna remember that. Now he's gonna hold this bonus and orient. And I get black with the fist bump. Can we get you to hit yellow? No, he's gonna take a card and pass and I don't blame him. Yellow and I are fighting and his enemy is botted. So this is the perfect time for him to chill. Okay. He might even be rolling into pink. Pink got a card, actually. <clears throat> yeah, pink got a card here. I guess black stacking here against the pink cap. What's on the pink cap? I'd love to see the pink. Uh, can I kill pink, actually, this turn? I kill pink for three cards. Okay, he does have enough to get through. He does think he has to break me here, probably. So maybe he checks. Does he know? He, he, he knows where my cap is. Yellow was beside me at the start of the game. So he's going to break up. He's making sure. No, he's going right through. I mean, he also knows pink was here. Broke me already. So maybe maybe he doesn't then. He's going to bring his 60, his 60 back or what? He runs out of it again. I mean. Hmm. Like, it's very easy to kick yellow out of here with a trade. He's gonna be on four cards though. Uh, <clears throat> wonder if pink 26 comes out. I wonder if I get opened in. He's got uh, 49 here. Does he run out of time? Does he get a fortify off to the capital? This stack goes to the cap? No, uh, maybe? It would have made it through this way. So if it was, that corner pocket was a 25, 26? Uh, it's a 26 remaining on a 60. So he brings 25 over. He's got an 85 cap. Pink's very killable, but I need it to come off cap if I'm going to do that. That might be pink coming off cap. That might have been pink coming off cap. I don't know. I think I trade and set up to kill pink next turn. And I can also kick yellow out of here. Yep, there it is. So he's actually... Yeah, okay. Okay. I can kill pink on four cards if black doesn't right now. Because I think pink came off cap. I could be wrong. Black could also accidentally feed it to me. I mean, black could trade kill pink. And then be sitting on five cards. We see all of him. Let's pay attention to what he's got. He doesn't trade. Oh my. 40. Okay. If yellow doesn't trade, can I sneak through the back here and kill yellow? This is a 60 and this is empty. If yellow doesn't trade, I kill yellow right now. 
Maybe I should have done that anyways. No, I would have been on five cards and dead, right? Black would have won the game. No trade and I kill him. Yeah, any of those cards is perfect. <clears throat> I have to come through a lot of uh, pink troops. But I think I can kill yellow into a... So pink, no trade. If pink doesn't trade, I can probably kill pink and yellow this turn and go into a 1v1 with black. He's rolling in here. Dude, fingers... If The only thing is if pink trades here and, and blocks up my cap, I'm, I'm going to cry. If pink trades and puts 100 here, I'm crying. Other than that, I can win the game right now. I will end yellow and pink and go into a 1v1 with black. This guy is... He's got nothing on cap. Am I wrong? I think he's got nothing on... Is he even going to fortify back? You have to fortify back. Yeah, he's got it. He's got to fortify back. That's fine. Please, doggy time. One time. Please. One time. Fuck! One fucking time, dude. <clears throat> Does the 53 open me? I have to go through 150 pink troops to get the yellow kill. This game's fucking dumb. <sighs> that was the win right there, boys. That was the win. That was the actual win. That's so annoying. What do I do? Just to ban the cap to pink? It's not going to fucking open me. Jesus, that's frustrating. Oh, that was the win. That was a straight up win. I would have had the whole board. Black would have three weird looking caps. And I would be strong enough that when he trades on his five, he wouldn't be able to do anything to me. <laughs> and we would have been able to give yellow fourth instead of third because we don't like yellow. Because I, I, I the, the safe kill, I would have needed to go for yellow first. So I would have went through these two stacks, through the back of black, into yellow, killed yellow. All the way probably with the massive stack to make sure he's not hiding a 20 back here or something. Trade. Whatever I leave back here does go through into pink. And also, when I come through here, I probably look to see if pink's off cap or not. Unbelievable. Black starts with 10, so he still holds this. No, he's got three capitals. He's not holding this. He's got three capitals. <clears throat> pink is off cap, I think. Maybe even butting up against his cap. I'm so frustrated right now that yellow should not be in the game. This fucking moron should have been dead a long time ago. This is so frustrating. You are so unbelievably lucky, dude. Oh, I'm getting card blocked now. Well played. Oh. <laughs> Does he have enough time to do it? He does. I'm actually getting card blocked. Maybe we'll see if the pink 53 wants to hit the 11 to break the bonus. Pink has a chance to give me a card before all this. The 66 is going back to cap, I guess. I, I get a 6v7 slow roll, right? He leaves a 7 here. Very weird. Okay, I do have a 7 stack to try to get a card on without hitting 100. No, I don't. That was a nice card block. The, this guy has no idea how close he was to dying twice. Come on, pink bot. Do something. Do something helpful. Hit this 11 and split around here or something. Give me, give me, uh, give me something. I actually have no choice. I have to get cart, right? I can't just not. If, if, if yellow trades... Is the 104 fortify maybe? No. Fuck. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna skip a card. He gets 130, you can make a 190 here. 
I'm going to guarantee a card next turn. Pink has no trade. Yellow shouldn't be able to get through that 100 or the 145. I'll skip, but I'm guaranteeing myself a card next turn. Well played, Yellow, man. He knows how to card block me. Oh, frustrating, frustrating. Now we see the weakness of the Gascony cap. With, well, with the pink bot, right? Black's rolling a ton of something. And I, I would be shocked if it's pink. I mean, we'll see. Maybe Actually, I wouldn't. If he actually takes this cap, I wouldn't be shocked. I'm going to take this cap if black doesn't. If he's ram dingling yellow. No, he took the pink cap. Shit. All of that just to take that pink cap, right? Because my goal actually was this 100 guarantees me a card out either way. And I take this capital and then guarantee myself cards in a better position. Because the Gascony cap is not doing it for me right now. I'm easy to card block with this strong bot circling me. Maybe I should have just smacked the first 19 stack that came in and took this whole pocket out. Or some of it, right? Yellow starts with what, 19? Black starting with 20? Maybe these guys can't agree to terms over here? I also traded early to do this fight, right? To kick yellow out of here, which actually set me up to get a card blocked. The play, like, I didn't realize yellow would know how to card block, so I traded early. I should have been a little bit more hesitant there. You know me, I'm rather, I, I play rather aggressive, though. Not as much about the defense. Now I have to play a little defense. Blah. Uh, he's hitting a bunch of black. There's no way he's not, right? Uh, is he here? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Uh, so I'm probably going to be able to get through one of these stacks. I ideally want to get through Burgundy and then come up here. All right, because Black's cap here is Pink's here. So, like, I don't think Yellow's in Netherlands, so he won't see. His plan's, I guess, 69. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, splits up. 15's easier card. Don't think the 100 attacks and splits here. I think the bot's got many other cards other than that. I kind of want to go through the 26 and up here, though, rather than the 15. Okay. Something like this. Okay. Should be safe for cards for a turn or two. I have a trade. I have a trade on three if I need it. All right. <clears throat> I might actually have to kill the pink bot. I mean, if we'll see. If this is all of the pink bot, because black rolled a bunch, yellow rolled a bunch, does black still get 20? gets 18, so they both rolled a bunch of stuff, but they're both holding a ton of stuff still. So it's not like they're hitting each other. And there's no real kill guard spots, right? Black didn't trade, he just, he traded last turn. He's rolling a bunch. I wonder if one of them accidentally feeds me the bot kill, not realizing there's a literal 100 stack here, right? Like, what if yellow trades kind of goes for the bot kill? And then doesn't realize there's a 104 here. Maybe he thinks there's a bunch of, like, 30s or something. Alright. It's hard to know exactly what Black's holding to get his 18. Okay. Oh, 15 now for yellow. Yellow's tasting it a bit from Black. He was getting 19. Okay, he trades. Feed me the bot. I would love to see the bot actually make it to four cards if I don't kill it, but I mean, <clears throat> it might be smart to try. Four out of six, by the way. Oh, he's gonna try to kill the bot. No, he's ramming me, okay. Really? Now you see the 104? This guy is like full set on me, huh? It's the 12? No. No, it's my 17 now, okay. There's a 12 here. Can I kill the bot? I can look around the board and then I can loop, right? I can loop around. 
He has no trade. Oh, please. Yeah, I need the bot to not trade on three. That's it. A 12 and a 104. Is that it? I hate this game. I hate this game. Absolutely detest it. I hate this game. This is ridiculous. This this is absolutely just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm at risk to dying. Neither of them has like a 300 cap to come hit me with, right? Ha. Unbelievable this bot. So it had a 104 and a 12, which is 116, and then the bot traded for 105. So it had like 220. We'll say 220ish troops. Now it has 80 208. While it might have hit some of yellow in here. We see 208, and it might even have like a little stack in here split. So this might actually be all of pink. Thank you. Yeah, is he going to ramdingo the crap out of yellow? That's nice. That's, he opens me completely, and he ramdingos yellow. Now, if yellow has a 300 cap, which I doubt. <laughs> My frustration's at an all-time high because I should have won this game, but, you know, hard mode and stuff. Well, A, I missed the purple kill. I That's one thing you do when you're narrating a game and playing. Um, thanks. He made the fortify. Good. Hit him with a thanks. Yellow only gets nine. Yeah, taste it. But, uh, so, yeah, one thing you're doing with your narrating, sometimes you miss uh, the start of the turn. You only pay half of attention, right? And then, uh, yeah, so I missed the purple kill into yellow. That was the first major mistake. I, I guess I'd call that, that is the major mistake. And then uh, the bot trading on three, which didn't let me kill yellow and the bot as a double kill into a bunch of trades into 1v1 with black, right? Like we do end the 1v1s really quickly, but uh, that one was painful. <clears throat> so I think this is all of the bot. Starts with five. Put three there, two here. I think this is it. And the 34 comes up. Don't. Okay, this goes up. That's even better. Okay. 34 gets brought out, though. Splits a three. Maybe comes here. I might actually get fully surrounded here by this stupid bot. Yellow getting, like, next to nothing after that? Is yellow killable? I don't think I'd go for that. I don't think, like, if yellow has no trade on four or on three, then I'll go for his kill. But I don't think I'm going to trade and try to kill him now. Because I won't be able to hold on too much, right? I've got maximum, not even a 300 stack to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, fist bump and then take my cap. Wild. I have a trade and a wild. That's incredible. 46 for black. And we're fist bumping. His stacks are not open to my cap, so unless red has a 300 plus to try to kill me with, it won't work. I mean, he could, and then the, the pink bot might try to finish me. Like, if he had a 300 and he slammed this down to the 30, the pink bot might finish me, especially if yellow came in the back door. See what black does with his 46 now. Also, if... So the pink bot has 200 and something. I could trade, kill yellow, trade, probably not worth killing pink until it's fourth card, but I, I could think about just getting it out of the game so I can deal with the 1v1. No trade. How much ram dingling does he do? Take a card and pass or what? He's not even attacking? Is he thinking? He didn't attack. He did attack. Why didn't I see it? This pink bot better not block me here. 
It's it, it might though, because it doesn't have cards anywhere else to expand to. Unless it's gonna break Black's bonus. I think it's gonna surround my fucking cap. I mean I could trade kill pink, trade, and then go for the yellow kill, but I don't think I get it. Yeah, this is stupid. Okay, an 18's not bad. Especially if that splits. Okay, nine's not bad at all. The nine goes out. Okay. I need to make sure yellow's not in this pocket down here. I have to go ham. And it's gonna try to trade my wild card. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here it is. Oh, that's all of them! Oh, baby tail, you can teach the rainbow, little bitch boy! Fuck you, yellow. <clears throat> Um, I could maybe kill black or, or kill pink and, and deal with black or what do I do? Hmm. Okay, I have massive lead over black, but he's about to trade. He, he, I have 350 troops. He has this cap too, though, so and it's guarding against pink, so there's something on it, clearly. Oh, oh yellow, you suck, you suck, you suck. Fuck you, yellow. Wow! Taste the rainbow, baby boy. You gonna hit my cap? Go for it. Kill pink? Doesn't kill pink. I do have a trade to kill Pink with off my 110. Unless he hits that cap, which would be pretty funny. I don't think he I don't think he hits that cap. If he does, that's uh very painful. I would call that bad. I would love him to open my 166. Wait, is he gonna move off cap with everything? I can cap run maybe. Dude, okay. Abandoning the best cap in the game. Please, one time in your stupid life, pink bot, don't trade on three. You've done it twice in a row to screw me. Magic, we win. We win and it's not gonna take much longer. Holy crap, now don't go on this capital either, right? Theoretically, theoretically, that's not even the word I was looking for. Oh, screw you, dude. I don't want to... Stupid bot. Okay. Keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's in here is the problem. Um... Get a good slider on the 71. Okay. What do I need here? How much is that? 100? Oh. Yeah, something like this. Jesus. Okay. This is expensive, man. Way more expensive than I was hoping. What's this? Oh, this might hurt. It tanks further up. Oh, okay, we got him. <laughs> now we just gotta deal with black. He does have a troop lead, but I'm gonna have a card lead. And a uh, good chunk of the board, I would say. Let's go with what, like a 60? I don't see a cap run coming from him.
Did everything. Okay. I have three cards to his two. He has 390, 400 troops. He's just, he's beating me in troops. I have four, I've, we both have three caps. He's beating me in troops. <clears throat> but I own the whole board, but he's going to attack a lot of it. How fast is he? And does he roll some caps? Good game. Woo, give me that 1v1, baby. He's got some speed. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's fine. This is a very expensive pink kill, but I just wanted to get pink out of the game. The game could last forever if I try to get him to kill pink or we let pink trade again. And I don't want to play that game that lasts forever. So we're equalish in troops. Uh, if he gets a trade on three next turn, I could die. So I have to make sure that he can't cap run me next turn. That's important, right? If he blocks off of uh, his caps. Okay, the 166 is safe now. Twenty. Do a twelve through here. No, no, no. What do we do? All the way through here, and then what? The two hundred eight's closed, right? So that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. Eleven. It was stupid. Okay. Click it. Does he have a cap run? No. Because his 208 is trapped and I didn't reopen it. I have a trade on four. So if he does trade on three, I can literally destroy him. He doesn't even get to break everything, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't know why he went left when he could have went this. I have a 29 gets this. That's fine. But I hold Spain, Iceland. Yeah. We're going to beat him in, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes? He, like, he's not bad, but uh, he's, I don't know if he's going to be able to last like a half hour or something. We'll see. Hour and eight minutes in. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Now we get the intense 1v1 stuff. No more laughing at me with the bot having trades on three and then me flubbing and then uh, yellow being annoying. No more of that. Oh, he's off cap. Is he banned? 56 here and a 30 here. What does he pull back? 56 and a 30. The 50 comes back. Okay. So there's a 30 in this corner. That's interesting. Let's do this. And we'll do a reach around here. Oh. That's not quite enough to do the reach around I wanted. Whatever. Maybe. There we go. Do you trade on four? No matter what he does, his 52 and 53 can hit these caps, but he cannot hit the 154. It is completely blocked, right? Blizzard, Blizzard, and these two black territories. He has no stack at this cap, so no matter what, he can't uh, cap run. <laughs> and I'll just beat him in longevity here, right? He started with 19. I started with 23. I have four troop advantage every turn. I'm going to win. He's also probably going to screw up uh, Fortify at some point. He's got a 30 in this corner. I'll get off cap hit. Um, I'm actually probably going to come through the back without opening the 186 and then clean this whole pocket on this next turn with the trade. I could think about a cap hit, but I'm not going to. Uh, probably keep blocking Italy off here. Make these a little bit bigger. Just not too much, maybe 80s. 80s are, are bad hits for him, right? Okay, we want triple cavalry. Like uh, 80, 80, 20 something in this. Like that, yeah. Got a slider a bit. They're opening the 186. Got a 30 down here. Huh. Three in that corner, unfortunately. Did get it though. Oh, the 30's gone. Okay, cool. 
Put it on this one. <laughs> cool. Let's go, doggy town. No trade on three for me. Bring your troops in. He might get... Like, we're going to beat him in speed and thinking. We're going to think faster than him. We're going to calculate faster. We're going to attack faster. We're going to hold more of the board. At some point, he's going to get flustered and think he needs to steal a capital. He's going to slam a capital, and then he's going to lose too many troops. I'm going to be able to push that advantage a little further. And then he's probably going to... He's probably just going to bot out, and I'll have to wait the full 60 seconds for his turn timer. And we're all going to be sad about it. It'll be annoying. Okay, even. I bought the Yawn emote, okay, for my troll account. Not, not troll account, my alt account. Funny enough, I checked the leaderboard. This I'm ranked 200 right now on this account, and I play everything on this account, so it's kind of funny. He got car. He ran his stack into the corner, and the 186 can't go backwards, so I actually hold all this. <laughs> That's funny. Now I don't open the 90 to go that way again, and we do this. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's cool. And if he has no trade, what does he start with? Not enough, right? Not enough to get through a 25. I don't think I have a trade on four, which is funny. I do. Okay. Bring it, daddy time. I'll make you taste it. Right? His 90 can't go out or out. His 186 can't go backwards. His 137 can only go into my cap. Like, all of his caps are blocked. This 90 can only get to here. Right? I've specifically... I, I haven't spoken about it or shown or talked too much about it while we're doing this, but, like... <clears throat> I'm specifically closing off... Every, like, every time he's hitting a bunch and then I hit a bunch, I'm hitting a bunch that's not giving him anywhere to go with his troops. Which I think is fun. Do this again. Now we can make him trade on four if he wants to break all of this. That seems fun to me. Yeah, let's just do this. And now... What's he thinking? He still has no cap run because he cannot hit the 154. And anything he does with caps to hit a cap, this 154 is open to I guess unless the 90 comes out and then hits the 80. But I mean, fine. Yeah, so we did get him to trade on four because he wants to break everything. But that just means I can retake everything the same way I just did. And he won't have three cards to do it again. Boom, 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 boom. Good game, good game, yawn. I mean, okay. At the same time as I'm like, don't quit the game, stick it out, and try to fight to the end. I'm telling this guy, give up, I'm done playing this game. I'm done with you, even though you're trying. I'm done with you, get out of here. Alright, we're gonna have to do the trade. Uh, so he's got a 70-something here. What's this for to buy? Splits. He did the same pathing I did, which was suboptimal pathing, but a 60-something here. Is he run out of time or no? I think he got it. <clears throat> I think he got it to this capital. Oh, all the dudes, man. So we want a 40 something, 50 something, and make this a 70, and we'll do this. Good. Don't go further, I don't open that. Oh, he might not have actually got it all the way out. We might actually get to slam that stack. Yeah, we do. Cool. You think I'm not hitting that? You're crazy, bro. Cool. Now we're going to hold... He only has two, right? Now we're going to hold all of these bonuses. I have a Gascony. A Rome. And uh, Benghazi, Istanbul, Blizzard, and a South Russia five point on the whole bottom section. I don't know. Now he's like, I got to take out Iceland. I have a trade on three if needed. I could look at taking his 90 cap out of the top. If it's very weak. I mean, these are the important caps, but taking the 90 cap kind of lets me close them in, right? Oh, wow. Oh, baby town. 
I do have to trade on three to do this the way I want. Oh, man. I think I'm going to take that cap. I think I'm going to trade on three and take that capital from him. And then also run this. That doesn't win, right? Oh, my God. That wins. Dude, Lucker Dog McDoodle right here. With the fried chicken. Where's your fortify, though? Yeah, okay. Face the rainbow, baby boy. Good dice, please. I'll take it. And what do we do here? Give it as a 50. Um. Probably has no trade, but if he does, I mean, I could let him in here anyways. <laughs> That's fine. Trade on three. I thought about putting the 48 here, but I don't want to lose 48 off cap troops and I don't want him to maybe take one of these more important capitals. When I have no cards. So yeah, I, I think it was worthwhile. We'll see. He might actually hit the cap now. Bad dice? One time. 200 troops. 212. 197. Okay, that was really close to what I was saying. Now what? This cap's empty. It's literally empty. So he has to run and then put like... Oh my god. This cap is empty. Is he going to bring 90 over? What are you doing with it? You, and he doesn't break any of the back. This is an empty cap. Does he put this stack on? No. 27? 26? Yeah, yeah. This is a 70. This is a this is empty. You split? Like I oh my. It's a 26. That's that's quite unique. <clears throat> now I can take that with this, actually. Actually, I think I'll just take it from here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. He put it somewhere else. He put it on the other cap. Okay. Actually, so this one can actually just be the 50 now. Because we want this one to have more central access. And then he has no trade. He has guaranteed no trade, right? So the 36 cap is fine. Yeah, so we're fine. I could maybe have moved some troops to this seven and made it bigger. Like he can at most break Great Britain and Iceland. <clears throat> now we're going to suffocate him. Good game. Does he recognize it's over? It looks like it. He's going to single stack this cap. Could be his next play is single stacking a cap to uh, get ready to go for a cap run. If I, if I give him uh, the opening, right? So we don't do that. I don't know which cap he may be. Sing well, I guess he wouldn't be single stacking on this one. If, if he did single stack, it would be here. So probably I'll just do this. Oh, there it is. Interesting. Huh. So that was the leftover from here, right? No, that wasn't. Interesting. He has no trade. Wait, what is this? Ah, good game. Good game. Well played. He just came off cap completely and, uh, conceded so we'll take it we're not going to waste any more time as i said don't waste time uh cool could world dom but black was an honorable opponent he wasn't uh he wasn't my arch nemesis like the pink bot or the yellow player that would have been different so uh we had two experts two beginners and a master black was a master and we went first and second with the master and uh yeah yellow was a beginner that i don't like you
Good game, though. Like, I understand why he was mad at me. I hit the four up down here. He wanted cards down here, I guess, but I wanted my bonus. But then later, the war was I was trying to kill him. So obviously, he's going to turn on me completely. And for a beginner, despite, like, some, like, whatever I was criticizing about his skill, he did recognize how to card block me using the bot. So props to him for knowing that. Uh, pink bot, screw you, pink botting out. Uh, you actually weren't out of the game. You were quite fine in your position, so... Hopefully everything's okay for you and you didn't lose connection over an emergency or something. Uh, hopefully you're just a bitch and you didn't have an emergency. And then the two expert players. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video.